Morning guys, I got a couple of 148s and um, they're uh, parts radios, you know, not, not working. So, um, the first one, the one here on the top, has got these uh, noisemaker buttons and uh, one of them's broken, we got a switch, probably channels, who knows. Haven't lifted the skirts up on these. Um, have to take a peek. Got some, you know, loose knobs, and you know, it, it, they're they're, um, you know, that one's a little wobbly. Uh, it, they're definitely uh, they're needed. In fact, that one's just uh, flat out um, broken. Yeah, that's just flat out broken. Um, so we're gonna give them a go. We're gonna see what's going on with these things. So. The first one, the first thing I noticed was there's no speaker in it, and there's stuff rattling around inside of there. It's probably the noisemakers, the Tweety Birds, or the whatever in the world is that they put in the radios these days, uh, or not. These are just plainly just probably old radios. So, so we'll just do this one first. Put this one to the side. Open this guy up. No screws. I already took all the screws out just to make it easy. So, um, that said. Uh, not what I expected. Pete, repeat. I don't really know what this is. It's got a jack on the side. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Repeat of some kind. I, beats me. Echo box. Who knows? Um, take it out. They're all, all I mean, I'm going to attempt to restore these radios. So, um, you know, all these little doodads are clearly going to come out. So, uh, that said, um, yeah, this potted thing, a BL100, um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to Google that one, because it's, uh, it's definitely a board, it's potted, um, I've got no idea, I can't even scratch that with my fingernail, whatever that potting compound is, it's, it's something else, it's, it's quite something. It's solid as a rock. So whatever a BL100 is, no idea. And it goes up to these switches. This one's got a cut wire um, that goes down. The, the, you know, this is there's no telling what's been done to these. Um, I see lots of odd things that are just out of place. So yeah, um, I've uh, it, obviously. Uh, Return to stock is like the only thing you can really do. Um, you no, know, here's the jack that must plug into here, and this must be some kind of weird echo box, repeating box, recorder that plays back something. Oh, who knows? Um, so, yep, see what's on the other side that's waiting. sure that there's some jumpered horror back here oh yeah <laughs> don't do this I think I've uh, uh, warned about that in the Cherokee this is not a good uh, not a good mod this is bad for radio um, you know there's a reason that there are components in between here and here and you shouldn't just jumper them by but that said, uh, this is not a good way to do things. And this is going up to that, to the external speaker. So they're getting audio off of the speaker. Um, and then it's going up to this switch. So, um, and, and then this, so, yeah, I think that that was probably what it was probably recording, recording what it heard, and then it would play it back. So you'd push a button to record it. Maybe it had a, you know ten seconds or five seconds, twenty seconds, what have you, record time. So you push the button to record, and then the black one probably played it back. So you'd key the radio, play the thing back, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Or you threw the switch and played it back, so you didn't have to hold the microphone, just you know, key the radio. Um, channel mod clearly done we've got some um, some bodge wires going from the PLL down to the front panel switches the rightmost three CVPA tone um, 
uh, bright dim. So, um, yeah, that's not how I would have done it, um, but that's how they did do it. So, uh, that's that. Other than that, I really don't see anything really missing. There's some obvious clarifier unlock done to it, but uh, you kind of expect that in a radio like this. So, uh, well, the TXRX light's missing. I don't know it's there, it's just shoved out, so it's, we've got that, uh, meter is not stuck, it's clearly moving, so that's also good, nice to have a working meter, since that's one of the things that seems to go wrong in a lot of these older radios, this is an older one for sure, it doesn't have the update code on it, it says Taiwan, it says probably, um, uh, 80s vintage, uh, Cobra 148, uh, in fact, uh, just look at the date codes on the uh, on the PLL and stuff. Uh, tenth week eighty eight. Twelfth um, week eighty eight. So yeah, eighty eight vintage radio. And uh, you know that's basically it. I have to Google that BL one hundred. See what that thing's about. I'm I'm kind of curious about what that BL one hundred is. I might Google that right quick. Um, you know on my phone and, and see if I find something. Next one does have the speaker. Uh, look at the back and see what we got. Oh, and they both have these channel mod, these, did not channel mod, these, these uh, power mods. Um, the other one, I'm guessing this is a power mod uh, because the other one had it. It's just some wires that go down to the, uh, the, a, the AM power uh, variable resistor that's down on the board. They take the, they take the pot out. They uh, put it on this, uh, on this control on the back and uh, that's pretty much all it is um, you know there's nothing special about that at all so you know and 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 probably nothing wrong with it really if you especially if you want to vary your output power uh easily because if you wanted to vary the output power on these, you'd have to go inside of the radio and turn it down so it's on the back it's kind of you know if you needed to it's handy um no channel mods well oh i say that i say that too soon channel mods done in a peculiar way that's crystals right there and those are the controls for the crystals and this is going up to where the it's probably a cap right here no inductor and this um, is where one of the reference crystals 11 uh, uh, some odd megahertz crystal is and we've got some um, some other crystals that are plus or minus killer or some kilohertz uh, between the one that's originally in the radio it's supposed to you know, shift it up and down. Not the best things in the world. I really don't like them. Um, this is not good. A good way to do oscillators. It's it, it, this will drift around like there's no tomorrow. It, it it's not stable. It's not cool. Um, it may work, but it it's too it's far too uh, too too unstable to do a radio mod like this. And I know that they sell these little kits with the switch and the board that switches, you know, three crystals. It's not stable. Uh, you know, in my opinion, it's just not nowhere near right. So I wouldn't do it. So, and I see we've got something going on here that's going up to the top. So I'm sure that there's yet again another mod in here. So let's see what we got. A joke. <laughs> I like these mods. This this is almost comical because there are people who sell this. I don't remember what this is called, but this goes to this pot right here, and then there's three wires that go down to the power control. Um, you know, similar to this radio. I mean, I, I, I saw this pot in the back, and I saw the toys, and I, I actually didn't mention I saw it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. It's just sort of like, you know, without thinking. You know, because it did it really well. And these three wires go down to that pot, like I said. Well, this is the same thing on this radio, except they've got it in this little green epoxy can thing. Well, the joke here is these three wires that go down to the uh, variable resistor on the board. There's three wires that go down. This really down in there. You really can't see it. They go down to a variable resistor. These three wires are connected to these three wires. 
um, they're just spliced inside of the inside of the epoxy. These other four wires, like this ground and this power and this audio and this thing over here, which goes down to a you know a spot in the board where they remove a component, um, or it's a, even a, at times a blank component. It, it's it's nothing. I mean, it's quite literally. It doesn't do anything at all. It's, you know, and they pay, you know, $30 or something like that for this thing. It, you know, and, and installing it, it's like, oh, you know, 30 it's like, you know, they pay like $70, $80 for, for this, which is just a bunch of wires in a pot. And there's no components in here at all. I've, I've broken these open before. You know, there's nothing inside of here. You can't see any components through it. You know, even around the edges, you know, it's spliced wires in here. And these wires don't do anything at all. They're just stuck in, in, in the epoxy. Uh, they, they don't, they're not connected to anything. I mean, I've seen these before. They're, if anything, these things actually cause squealing and all kinds of other nonsense because you got this, um, you know, noise injected into it because, you know, I mean, they've, busted all this harness loose but this white wire is going down to the uh, audio the microphone pin on the on the on the connector and now you've got this thing connected to your audio input this wire that's just sticking out in the air because it's not connected to anything on the other end sticking out in the air so what happens you're going to get all kinds of stuff it's laying in here on the radio you got oscillators and everything running in here and, and this is sitting on, on top of it um so yeah it's just bad news um it, it, it's just a horrible thing. I actually see something else that's kind of alarming um, that could be an issue that I just noticed. Um, down in here along the edge of the board, which I'm sure that I can't really show very well because of the harness and everything. It's down in the down in the crack of the radio down there. But let's see if I can't figure out how to show it. But there's the audio amplifier is down there. It's where I'm pointing with my finger. And I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but that thing, you can see that it's floating in the air. You can see I'm pushing on it. That's supposed to be... Uh, in fact, you can see barely see the nylon screw that's going... In. That's... No, it's actually... The nylon screw's broken, is what it is. It's broken loose. So this thing is not, no, the audio amplifier is no longer attached to its heatsink. And that is a problem with uh, putting these radios in the bracket and then having it pull it apart. The nylon screw in this case broke. Sometimes the leads break, but that the nylon screw on that's broken. Um, can be fixed, obviously, with another nylon screw, um, but yeah that's uh that's a problem uh this is a newer uh cover 148 it's um 1995 vintage so once i pull out all of this nonsense that we've got going on in here like this crystal and yeah i'll get this whole this whole thing just out it's not good uh, they didn't do the jumper on this. Still has this power control. This, they could have saved themselves a lot of money by just taking this, you know, and, and wiring it down there. That's all that, that's all that is. That's, I mean, I'll have to do a teardown on that. I'm going to have to, I'll have to, you know, set it down and I'll have to get a pair, big pair of pliers and just crunch this thing. And, and, and you'll see that there's nothing but wires in there. And, and that these three are spliced to these, these three. So you know <laughs> sorry i can't help but to laugh at that because it's one of the it's one of the ways that people get the the, the cb or you know it's oh yeah this thing will make your radio louder and they believe it it's it this is a this is an audio file audio foolery modification basically um there's audio going into it where where does it come out of this module this is a power control this is just like going to a, a nothing pad um, and this is power and this is ground so where does the audio 
come out of this if you're putting it must come out I mean and I know what these are these are going down to the power control I mean, if I get a multimeter out and measure these three wire three these th the three pins on this 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 uh, potentiometer down to the you know to these three wires I'm gonna get on each wire I'm gonna find the corresponding wire over here it's that's all it is you know but they think that this is somehow gonna make it louder beats me um, I'd, I'd like to see it you know, it's just wires hanging in the air. But the CBers, they buy it, and they think they're getting something. And the thing is, they get it installed, and then they really, really hear the difference. It's um, it's quite interesting. So, other than that, um, this one is probably the best bet to take uh, uh, to get bits from the other one because the other one is a little bit more distressed than this one is um i just restore this switch uh back to its original configuration uh put everything back um this switch looks like it might be a little eh, i guess they're all about right um you know they're they're working they're not broken they don't look like they're broken or anything like that just gotta put that one back the wires are probably these ones right here that are cut I uh, thought there would probably be more. Um, and we got some, no, we've got some spliced. They've replaced a meter and they've spliced it down there. They just cut out a meter from another radio and spliced the wires. So, yeah, okay. They didn't solder the wires, they just spliced them together, taped it, they just taped them together. There's the other one down there. There's the other one, the other two for the lights. So, yeah. Uh, so this will be the first one. I probably um, I'll I'll probably restore this first. It's in better shape. Um, it looks like it's a better candidate for um, for getting put back together. So uh, that's that. So here we are. We got um, the older 148 that the faceplate's pretty badly worn. In fact, you can buy these. People have remade these faceplates, and you can get new faceplates. Um, the 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 insert there's a this this um this piece this chromed piece in the back or that over that uh, has all the writing on it. You can actually get um, new ones, um, provided that the uh, that the rest of it is okay. You can get that. You can get some new ones. Um, the new ones actually I think look better than the original ones. You know the um, so. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll probably fix this one. I'll make some videos of uh, uh, you know taking out the various mods and uh, you know then uh, get the alignment uh, and, you know, data out and um, we'll uh, when we got this to stock, which will be this will be very easy to put back to stock just because removing this and you know this this sort of crystal bodge over here will uh, pretty much return it to stock. The crystal that goes in this spot is on this board, so it's not like it's gone and. Um, the uh, tone control that's a high-low tone switch is, um, uh, you know, I'll have to get that switch off the other radio. Or if I can find some um, some other radio, you know, parts, maybe Cobra 25 or 29 that's, uh, that's pretty much toast. I can get the switches out of the, one of those. So I, most of them are, are uh, a lot of the controls are really the same. So... I can get some parts from other radios, um, put this all back together, replace that nylon screw, take this whole contraption out. Uh, this uh, this should be back, you know, back to normal. And it has the porcelain insulators on it. That's good. So, anyways, hope that was interesting. Uh, so uh, I'll make some more videos on it, guys, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves.